don't know. I just feel like I put the camera up really, really high. But anyways, good morning, girl. Today is Saturday, and I am up early because today I am getting a Jessamyn peel. Now, you guys know my skincare journey has been crazy. Okay, you guys know I have hyperpigmentation, acne, oily skin. Let me show you guys how my face looks now exactly. It's much better, but for some reason, I've been having a lot of hyperpigmentation up here. It's just crazy how I feel like my hyperpigmentation rotates. At first, it was like up here. Then it was like over here. Now it's like on my jawline. Like, for real? For real? Like, can you just stop? Can you just stop? Right now, it's mostly on my jawline here. And kind of in my cheeks area. There. And the rest of my skin is actually pretty good. And the rest of my hyperpigmentation that I did have all over is healing. Because you guys know I've been using a number of products doing a lot of things with my skin however my new esthetician if you guys been watching my vlog you know i've been going to lachey she is so awesome um she suggested for me to have a jessner peel now you guys know i've had all kind of peels okay i've had peels um chemical peels enzyme peels you name it okay i've been through every single treatment i've been through laser treatment just all kinds of stuff right um, but she suggested something called a Jessner peel and I've never had a Jessner peel before. I've never even heard of it. So it's basically a medium depth peel that, uh, if you guys don't know, peels have different depths. So a medium depth is kind of like more towards the surface. So it's purpose is to treat stuff like hyperpigmentation, scarring, wrinkles, sagging skin, stuff like that. But that's what we need. That's what we need, girl, okay? Because I don't really have a lot of pimples. I, I feel like I get new breakouts around my cycle time, and then they just kind of go away. The main problem for me is, like, the hyperpigmentation and the oiliness. So, the Jessner Peel is supposed to definitely take care of hyperpigmentation. So, that's what we're going to do today, and this is my very first time getting that. So, I wanted to take you guys through the experience with me. We're just going to learn together. We're just going to grow together, girl, like... <laughs> Okay, that's all we can do. Learn and grow together. And maybe you guys have like some tips or insights on this peel and this skincare journey that I'm going through, okay? What is a Jessner peel? I did a little bit of research on my own because y'all know I'm a nurse, so I got to do research. So a Jessner peel, like I said, is a medium depth peel geared towards hyperpigmentation and surface stuff. And what it is is it can get up to, you can get up to three layers. So it's not just a one layer peel. You can get like two to three depending on if you frost up and this peel is definitely a peeling peel because if you guys know me you guys watch my vlogs you guys know that i barely peel because my skin is so oily so maybe i'll actually peel with this actual peel because it's supposed to be really like you know intense for peeling to heal the skin so hopefully that actually happens to me as well because like i said Girl, I definitely do not peel. So a Jessner peel, um, you can get up to three layers of the peel depending on how your face froths. I'm gonna ask Lachey a little bit more about it, but some of the videos that I watched is, um, it's kind of a peel that they also leave on your skin as well, and that's what creates the frosting effect. So I might look a little ashy, girl, um, afterwards because that's just the peel on top of my skin. And they leave the peel on, and it just kind of does its thing and soaks in. You can't have, or you can't put any water, wash your face, or any oil on it because it will affect the peel because it's just sitting on your skin. I think you can't wash your face, cleanse, or put any oil on it for six hours. You're also not able to work out for a few days. I'm going to clarify that with her. But I know she said not to work out before in like a few days uh, after. So I actually worked out a day ago because today and tomorrow would normally be my workout days. But girl, we are definitely not going to play with the skin, okay? We're not going to play. We're going to follow all the directions. Also, I read that sun exposure the first few hours is not good as well which is like, ooh, kind of bad for me because I felt like I needed to go to the grocery store as usual. Girl, I'm always going to the grocery store because I'm so unprepared. Like, I should have went yesterday, but I'm also going to clarify with that with her too because I don't know if she's going to be putting sunscreen on top or like, you know, what, or maybe if I can just 
wear a hat but i feel like i need to go to the store because i need some more vegetables and things but if not if not girl we will definitely wait till tomorrow because it's not even that serious like i said i'm not going to play with my face like that of course girl i'm going to bring my camera in there to film the process so you guys can just see kind of the mechanics and kind of like you know what happens when you get adjustment pill <laughs>
know so i just got done doing my justin peel by lachey and she said i frosted up in the places that i was supposed to again remember i told you guys this is a medium layer peel so it's like geared towards my hyperpigmentation so that's what we're trying to do so right now i'm going to ask her some questions because i had some questions and i wanted y'all to hear the questions just in case if you get the justin peel as well you know what to do okay so y'all know remember i told you guys at the beginning i want to go out so i wanted to run some errands like grocery shop i need to drop some orders off and i was thinking about going to a wine bar is that okay so what we say do in the next five to seven days mm -hmm. um just be careful with your exposure to sunlight um all it does is going to increase the you, you start if you start sweating it's going to increase the heat into your face okay. um you don't want to over exchange extreme <laughs> yeah sorry no, it's okay. <laughs> you don't want to overdo it um and cause more pigmentation to your skin right. especially if you're being exposed by sunlight and we already then gave you a chemical you know procedure to your face um that's why we always say if you are going to be out apply spf 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 recommended 30 percent if you you know if you do have if you do have it or you need to go get some um if you are gonna be out, like you said, you're, you have a hat. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, you're gonna go out, so we'll tell you don't wear any makeup. Um, mm -hmm. You don't want to put anything on top of your face for how long? Causing. So again, five to seven days. Okay. The peeling procedure there varies on everybody's skin type is different. So um, I would say you may start. You're probably not gonna start peeling today. You may start peeling tomorrow. Um, and you may not peel like early tomorrow, so which is Sunday, you probably peel tomorrow night. Okay. Um, so within those days, you don't want to do any, you don't want to go to the gym, um, you don't want to go out, out walking, uh, or just be out in the sun with light. But you can go out and drink. Um, if you're taking it long, you're in a cool area and right. you know how alcohol can get, make people hot and intense, as long as you know your body, you're staying hydrated and you're not making yourself high red you'll be okay okay um again five to seven day, business days is definitely gone it don't have to be business days y'all i'm sorry <laughs> but you know she's five, professional sorry but five to seven days max you just want to give your time your, your your face that time to do this healing process um and again you know if they have any questions i'll probably gonna go up on your blog and just answer any more questions you know people may have um and i want them to know everybody's Face is different, mm -hmm. so if they go get a pill um, with Jessna, you can get up to five layers. Oh, five! Okay. Yeah, you can get five, but again, your skin is different. Right. You started frosting at two. Two. At the, you know the second layer, and um, like again, like I told you, if I was at a medical spa, I probably if somebody was like, you know, yeah, she can, oh, you know, overdo it. Mm -hmm. I would, but I feel like right now two is fine. Right. And I still feel like you're gonna pill. Um, and either if not, you may flake, you know, but flaking is still good. Right. Um, and I've let everybody know that during this process of peeling, do not pick at your skin, do not pull the dead skin Ooh, because it's that be hard. it is hard. It <laughs> is. It's like everybody loves picking a scab or right. a temple, but you don't want to. Um, that'll cause more pigmentation as well. That's like you picking a scab and it's leaving a mark there. So uh -huh. that that will happen. Right. Um, so yeah, just. During this process, you want to just stick to your gentle cleansers okay. um, and SPF and moisturizer. You might want to keep your SPF with you because your face is going to be dry mm -hmm. and probably tight. Okay. Um, so, yeah, making sure you just you keep up with that. Your peeling process should be amazing. Okay. All right, you guys. So she answered all my questions before I can even say it. I wanted to know about the workout. I wanted to know about the cleanser. So gentle cleansing. All right. Day and night. Gentle day cleansing. And night. Day and night. Yep. And then once you get out of that within those, you know, five or seven days, then you can go back to your vitamin A, vitamin C, mm -hmm. your, you know, your exfoliant. But you don't want to exfoliant at all. Everything mild and everything mild right now. Um, okay. Well, not mild, but everything gentle right now um, to your face so we don't cause any irritation right. or, you know, nothing. And again, we're, you know, we're exfoliating the skin off, you know, getting them fresh new layers. So we don't want to do anything to make us go backwards. So that's what right. So yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, y'all. Good morning, you guys. It has been 24 hours, okay, since the Jessner peel. So we have officially survived 24 hours of our first Jessner peel, okay? So I just washed my face and I did use a very 
gentle cleanser this one is the biosance squalane um, amino acids one it has like aloe vera and different stuff so it was very gentle and it did kind of i feel like moisturize my face a little bit because it does feel like extremely dry and tight in certain places and i'm already getting some flaking and stuff like on my jawline and on my nose here i am about to apply some toner some moisturizer and um some oil just to lock in the moisture because i feel like it's really really dry but i did want to show you guys um i'm having some changes i don't know if you can see but you see like this black it looks like a darker like slash on my nose and then right here so i feel like that is going to start peeling i think that's what's supposed to happen i was kind of like concerned if it was like a burn or something but it's not because i did a little research and um it is flaking off so i feel like that is what i was talking about when i saw other people get this peel they had like either dark patches on their skin or their entire face got darker and then it just started to peel so i do think these areas are going to start peeling because that's what i saw with other people but i'm not having that anywhere else i am getting some flaking like right here where um most of my hyperpigmentation is and then i have like some flaking here in between my nose but like nothing like really super you know just like peely yet but i think lachey did say that it's gonna take three days to peel so i don't know don't mind you or she's barking because um people are walking around upstairs in her space but anyway so what i'm gonna do is put some toner on and i'm just using a gentle toner and that's the epilogic even balance most of my toners have salicylic acid for the acne and i don't want to use that right now because i just feel like my face is really like prone to be irritated because it's so dry so i'm just going to use this toner and then i'm going to use for a moisturizer my Clinique Moisture Surge. I like this one because it's heavy, but at the same time, it doesn't feel heavy on your face. It feels kind of like, I don't know, it's like a gel base. And I like this better because even though um, I'm dry right now, I am typically oily and I just don't like heavy, oily um, moisturizers on my face. And then I'm just gonna kind of seal it with an oil. Oh, and that feels so good because it's so dry. It just feels so dry and I can feel like some flakiness coming off of it. So then for the oil, I'm just going to apply um, the Biosance. Uh, squalane vitamin C oil just a little bit with my hands I'm not going anywhere today but if I do I'm gonna wear sunscreen but I'm really not going to I'm gonna stay in today is Sunday I need to do some cleaning and some washing so I'm not going to apply any sunscreen because I'll be in. And yeah, so I'll check in with you guys the next day. Hey y'all, good morning. So today is day two and guess what? There have been some changes. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's getting dark. You see that little patch there? So it's getting dark in certain areas and those little um, dark areas on my nose there. It's getting darker and I don't know if you guys can see but there's like some darkness on my cheeks as well so I feel like we are going to peel or something is gonna happen okay so I just washed my face I switched up my face wash because I feel like 
my skin is getting drier and drier by the day. <laughs> I literally moisturized my face last night and it just soaked it all up and I even sealed it with my facial oil. So I switched up my products a little bit. So let me show you guys. So I washed my face this time with the Chorus Foaming Cleanser. It's like a cream moisturizer. Um, it's gentle as well, but it's more um, creamy and just moisturizing because I feel like I need that because like, even though Biosense is good, it has the aloe vera, but this one is a little bit more heavier on the moisture and cream. So I'm going to try that out and see how that goes because my face just feels really tight and just dry and I just hate that. It just feels like uncomfortable, you know. Um, I'm going to use the same toner because this is the most gentlest toner I have. I feel like maybe I need to get in the market for another toner, like a gentle toner. Because I don't really have gentle toners, but since I'm going to be getting peels, maybe I should. Like if you guys um, have any suggestions on a really gentle toner. I heard that um, Lancome's Tonique. Is it Lancome or is that Clinique? No, I think it's Lancome. They're Tonique. I heard that was a really good gentle toner. I just feel like maybe I need to be in the market for a gentle clone toner. So I'll probably do that this weekend. Research some toners. Um, then for moisturizer, I'm going to switch it up as well. So this one is the Ola Henriksen um, Sea Brightening Double Cream. It's really, really heavy. <clears throat> And like, like I said, I can't stand when stuff is so heavy, but because my skin is so dry, I'm on my way to work. As you can see, girl, I got my uh, scrubs on and I just don't want to be uncomfortable. Like, because I feel like my face is going to be so tight. And then we, met, we wear masks at work. So I just feel like my skin is going to be so tight and weird. Like, it's one thing when it's like that at home but at work when I have to like talk and just deal with patients and people it's like girl no so we're gonna double down on the moisture today and hopefully that'll give us what we need then I'm going to use a different facial oil as well um, I like the Biosense Squalane Vitamin C um, and it is heavier than this one this one is the Chorus uh, Santorini Grape it is heavier, but I'm just switching it up just to see like what works. I feel like this one's lighter than my other facial oil, but maybe it'll do something that I don't know it could do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just girl. We're we're growing and learning. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna use quite a bit today because I need it. Oh, and it feels so good. I haven't gotten any flaking yet. One thing I did notice though is that everything's getting lighter. So like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like the hyperpigmentation is definitely getting lighter. Okay, this looks very crazy. Like you guys can't really see on camera because the, the lights are so bright, but like this looks dark, it looks like a dark strip. And then there's like a dark strip right here. Looks really crazy. <laughs> like this is the one occasion where I'm glad that we still wear masks to work. And then I'm going to do some eye cream. And I usually do this one in the daytime. This is the uh, Clinique All About the Eyes cream. And I'm just gonna slap this on. And I normally take my eye cream up to my eyelids. Okay, let's get this hair done. I'm gonna head to work and I'm gonna report to you guys if anything is different tonight. If not, I'll see you guys on day three. I almost forgot sunscreen. So we're gonna use our sunscreen. This one is by Biosance and it is 30 SPF. So remember Lachey suggested 30 SPF and higher. Okay, so we're gonna put this mineral sunscreen on as well because even though it's overcast, girl, we cannot go without our sunscreen. Good morning, sweetie. <laughs> Y'all, my face is worse, <laughs> but not worse in a bad way, worse in a good way. Um, so I woke up this morning and I am peeling, okay? And as you can see, the darker spots, like on my forehead, like I don't know if you guys can see, but like 
girl my forehead is so dark and this like do you see that line like that line of um what is it called demarcation yeah so all of that is like dark i don't know if you if i stand back you guys can see it how it's light under my eye and then it's just dark so my face looks really patchy and dark and i'm peeling girl thank god today is my last day of work and i'm off for a few days because yeah i'm looking crazy but as you guys can see um that dark spots or those dark slashes i told you about in my nose you can really see them now and they're peeling off so just like i thought those darker areas i guess are like old skin and it's just coming off and um i feel like i got like a new breakout right here but it's it dried up really fast it feels very rough and scaly and dry on my jawline right here and for now most of the peeling is up here and i feel like between my nose too but yeah i'm definitely gonna peel my forehead too because it is very just dark and you see how rough the skin is right there i don't know if you guys can see the texture girl <laughs> we're looking a mess so <laughs> thank god for the masks at work stuff that i'm gonna use today for my face i'm gonna use everything that i used yesterday and I think I'm going to kick it up a notch with sunscreen. I think I'm going to use my Super Goop sunscreen because it's 50 SPF. Because it's been kind of sunny outside. And probably just go a little bit more heavier on the moisturizer and the um, facial oil. I'm going to take my moisturizer to work because at work, my face was just so dry and it felt uncomfortable. So I think I'm going to carry my moisturizer with me, y'all, today. So that's the plan, but we are peeling, so that's good. And this is day three. So we started peeling on day three. I think Lachey said I was gonna peel on day three. So she was spot on, girl. The girl knows her stuff. Good morning, you guys. So we're on day four and it is bad. Look, girl, I don't even know if you guys can see in this lighting. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, it's better. Look this is like way darker don't mind shiloh girl he outside barking because he want to come in i'm gonna let him in a minute but look at that so my cheeks are starting to peel because it does i don't know if you guys can see the texture but it feels very scaly here and i was wondering when it was going to start so Day four, we're starting to peel up here and then my nose. You see those dark parts? They're worse, but they are peeling as well. And then my forehead is peeling now. So day four, we are peeling heavily and I'm like kind of self-conscious because I need to go outside. Like I got a notification that um, I got some PR in my um, UPS box and... Um, I want to go to Dollar Tree and get um, a bottle scrubber because I have these bottles that I've been putting uh, my juices in from juicing. And I need this like bottle scrubber to like clean the inside because I lost my other one. So I got to go outside for a little bit. So I'm kind of self-conscious. I might freaking wear a mask because <laughs> I do not want to be walking around looking like this. In other um, updates. It's still dry. My face is still dry, but it's not as dry as it was. So I feel like it's getting, it's trying to get back to normal. It's not oily or moisturized at all, <laughs> but it definitely isn't as tight as it was before. And you can see like the new skin. So I don't know if you guys can see right here where it's dark on my chin and then light right here where the skin is just peeling. So it's definitely like some new skin and I'm excited. Like I'm excited how it's gonna look. Day five, girl, we're on day five and I have to go out today. <laughs> like, unfortunately I have to go out, but I will say my face is 
a lot better. I feel like last night when I did my um, my uh, nightly cleanse, some of the skin fell off. And then like this morning, I just did my cleanse and some of the skin kind of sloughed off. So I feel like it looks much better. But look what we're going through. So my cheeks are now peeling. I feel like this and girl, my chin feels so smooth. So I feel like my chin is done just like underneath here. And now over here is peeling and then my upper lip. I feel like my nose, well, I still have a, a little bit, but I had like some dark patches on my nose and they are completely gone. And the skin feels so soft. And then my forehead, it's now peeling like on the perimeter right here. So I feel like we're almost done. I hate going out because it just looks so weird, but I need to. So I'm gonna try this uh, toner. Let me spray my face. So I found that using this girl, this is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Water Drench Hyaluronic Acid Spray. They don't have this anymore. So this must have been continued, discontinued girl. But I find that the more my face is moisturized, the more that you can't really tell when I'm out because I'm going to wear a sunscreen and a hat anyway and it kind of covers up the flaking but I feel like the more moisturizing my face is the more the skin isn't so noticeable so I won't be so freaking self-conscious so I've been using this just to spray for just a little bit of like extra moisture and then just to kind of like you know hide these little skin flakes girl because I have to go out today um it is school shopping season and so while I'm off I kind of want to take my daughter school shopping and then plus I need to run to Target I just got a few things that I need to do so I'm heading out so anyway I'm gonna try this new toner I went and picked up this toner yesterday this is the Lancome um comfort tonique or no tonique comfort i i told you guys about this that i was gonna try to get this and they ended up having it at one of the um sephora's in virginia beach so i went and picked it up and y'all this is the most luxurious freaking toner i've ever felt I'm trying to open it so i can show you guys it is the most luxurious toner like look i want to show y'all look how thick it is did y'all see that look how thick it is so thick it smells so good and it's so thick so i'm just gonna kind of use my hands and put that on my face and it is very moisturizing okay so this is my first time using it, so hopefully nothing happens because I just got a peel, but I doubt it. I mean, Lancome makes some really good skincare items. Just It feels so good, and it is very silky, and yeah, I think I should have had this toner from the beginning because I need a toner that is like, at least for this skincare journey, that is like very gentle and hydrating. And that's definitely that. So if y'all was wondering about that toner, yeah, that's a good toner. Now I'm going to uh, use my uh, Clinique Moisture Surge. And I'm going to kind of go in on that too because, like I said, the more moisturized my face is, the less you can see, like, the flaking. So... And I feel like also my face is getting better as far as dry wise. It's not tight anymore. It's only tight kind of like in the cheeks area where it's going to start peeling. And it still is, it still feels rough in those areas. And it also feels rough on my jawline as well. But that's where I'm starting to peel. The color is getting better. Like as you guys can see, um, there's still dark patches here. But those are the parts where I haven't peeled yet. Um, the dark patches on my nose are gone, so I feel like um, the dark patches, they're going to start peeling off, and it's going to look better. See, look. Do y'all see that? How it's like little dark patches there. Yeah, so um, those are going to go away, 
because I was concerned. I was like, girl, why is there dark patches on my face? But it's, every time a skin falls off, the dark patch falls off with them. So I was like, okay, cool. Because <laughs> I was like, why do I look like, you know, like I've been burned or something? Now I'm going to use um, uh, the Biosance Vitamin C Squalene Facial Oil. Gotta do a few drops of those. In the areas where it already peeled, it's so soft. Like right here and here is like so baby soft. For eye cream, I'm gonna use the Clinique. Um, what is this called? I've been using this the whole this whole entire video. Um, all about the eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the Biosance uh, Sheer Mineral Sunscreen as well. 30 SPF and better. Ooh. I think I put on a lot. But it's sheer, so it'll blend in. Hey, you guys. So I'm coming to you four days later. So in total, nine days. So I think I am done with the peeling process. I have no more peeling or anything left. Skin is looking really good, glowing, honey. Okay. I do have just a tiny bit of like flaking here, but pretty much my entire face is done peeling. So I wanted to come and um, share with you guys like my final thoughts and kind of like sum up my experience for the Jessner peel. So definitely the Jessner peel I believe is worth it. It was painless to recover. Um, during the application process, it, it, it was a little stingy and burny and stuff and it, it kind of got intense the second time around because you know I got two layers. But um, if you get like three or four, yeah, I would probably say like, because I think Lachey said you can get up to six layers. So yeah, if you get up to like four or five layers, girl, you're going to be on fire. But it only lasts for a little bit. It's temporary and I think it's worth it because look at my skin. Like, let's look at this skin. So in the before pictures if you guys don't remember my acne was much darker and I have really really deep acne scars so I feel like I would need a Jessner peel maybe two times so maybe I'll do it again because I think you can get them 10 days apart or 14 days apart I'm not sure but I would need it probably two times because you guys know I have really deep and dark acne um, spots that I was trying to get rid of but to be honest like they're very, very light, and my skin is glowing, y'all. My skin is glowing. So, in conclusion, I feel like it's a good investment to make if you can. Um, the only thing about it is the peeling process that um, I loved because at the same time, I know my skin is going to get better, but I hated it because... I couldn't stay in the house like if you can afford to stay in the house the entire time if you're not self-conscious because I feel like I was self-conscious about going out and people just looking at me and everything so if you don't mind that then that's fine but if you're like me and you're a little self-conscious girl and you can afford to stay in the house like definitely stay in the house I just couldn't because it, girl I have a teenager it's school season like we have to go shopping and then I didn't want to be in the house it was a nice day I mean girl Y'all know me, I'll be outside or whatever. So I just couldn't stay outside. But if you can afford to do that, stay inside the whole time and just heal, girl, I feel like you would do great. And I feel like this peel would be definitely worth it. So like I said, it was a painless healing process and it's an investment, you know, it's an investment in your skin. And that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to invest into my skin, girl, into getting clear skin, clear skin, all 2022 all 2023 okay that's the goal so in my conclusion i feel like the jessner peel is definitely worth it and it's definitely worth your coins and if you have been trying to get rid of acne or hyperpigmentation or just any scarring fine lines anything like that definitely choose the jessner peel okay so anyway you guys if you guys like this video if you guys found this video super duper helpful don't forget to give me a like subscribe to the channel girl and when you do subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time the game posts a video okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye